11 weeks, who is the best team in the AFC right now, in your opinion? Best team in the AFC? Right. I mean, it depends on your measure, right? Um, I'm not going to say the Bills, that's the trap you're setting, but they are jolly, golly jeepers pretty good. You know, if you mean the team with the highest ceiling when everybody plays the way they're supposed to, it's the Ravens. The team with the shortest uh, swing of the pendulum uh, between the floor and the ceiling, um, it's still the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, I know. So, so like the 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 race now for the top for dibs in the AMC, obviously Chiefs, Bills, big win against the Chiefs this weekend. Sure, Steelers big win over the Ravens this weekend. Uh, the Ravens themselves, of course. Uh, I, I would say those are the four teams we, we, we consider, right? The four teams. I don't put the Steelers um, as – I don't think there should be four teams considered. The Steelers are good. I'm not prepared to put them top oh. tier in, in that kind of race yet. But maybe they get there. I'm not going to rule it out. Oh, okay. You know. So if, so if I ask you, Pittsburgh Steelers, Super Bowl contender, you say no. And, of course, you know when I say that, I say, do you see a scenario where they're playing the Abe Stella game this, this, this January? Do I see a scenario where they're playing in the AFC title game? Um, yes. Uh, what did it evolve? And and the, the 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 sad thing is it'll involve. No, actually, I'm gonna take back. The answer is yes. Um, I, I can see a scenario where that happens. They come out, they likely play the Houston Texans in round one, assuming they're the fifth seed in your scenario where they're doing as good as you're saying, right? Um, by the way, how's your Bengal shit looking now? Um, more on that later. Yep, um, that yep. Uh, and then, um, yeah, uh, so yeah, for, I, I know I'm taking a bit long with this, but I'm really thinking this through, right? So the, the path they would have would inevitably be the Texans, in Houston, they beat the Texans, right? I'm well, not right now, the- if things start start today, we'll get the locks later on on the segment. But they are right now the clear, uh, you know, heads up, the clear leader right now in the AFC North. So they actually will get probably at worst a four seed, at worst probably a three seed. So you're talking about, so you're talking about them winning the division. I'm not yeah. there yet. But okay. let's say they okay. don't. If they okay. don't, they clearly will be five, right? Right, right, right. They're definitely a playoff team, yes. We, we, I, right. I can make an argument that winning the division might hurt them depending on how things roll. Separate question. Mm-hmm. Although playing in playing in the, the former Heinz Field, the former Three River Stadium. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, um, anyway, so let's say that they're the fifth seed, which again, I'm not I don't mean to imply third seed is impossible i think if they get in they're going to pass the houston texans that's just where i'm at i I don't have the records in front of me um i can do that while we're talking later but the punchline is this um if they're fifth they pass the houston texans you're telling me a scenario this is the one i see regardless of whether whatever add-ins you're telling me are positive are possible we'll put it that way right fifth seed they beat the texans at four which probably puts them in a position to be battling either the Chiefs or the Bills, if we're looking at things today, right? Because yeah. I'm assuming the Ravens would then be three. Um, and I got to look a bit more closely at the Bills' schedule to really confirm if that's how I feel. But let's just yeah. say that for now. Um, do I think this team is capable of beating the Chiefs? Yes. Do I think this team of, is capable of beating the Bills? This is going to sound odd, but from a matchup standpoint, no. I feel I feel worse about them from a matchup standpoint than I do the Bills because the Bills can do more to keep the ball out of Russell Carrington Wilson's hands and George Pickens' hands and Najee Harris' hands than the Chiefs can offensively. The thing is they have this Patrick LeVon Mahomes, the second guy, he's pretty good. But again, matchup-wise, I just think the Chiefs' defense is better on the whole, but the Bills... You notice the Bills are really good on defense the same place where the Chiefs are at yeah. that defensive tackle spot. is very Correct. fascinating. That yeah. being said, I think the Steelers lose to either of those teams, but if they pull the upset, upset somebody gets hurt, uh, the Steelers' defense, who is the wild card in literally every playoff game, not just the first round. See what I did there? Mm-hmm. Um, if they force turnovers with Josh Allen has been known to commit in postseason games, maybe that happens. Patrick LeVon Mahomes the second hasn't exactly been secure with the football this season. If they get the turnovers uh, and the takeaways specifically and hold on, then they get to the conference championship game, which will again probably be against the other one of whoever they're facing, be it the um, 
Bills or Chiefs, right? The other one they haven't beaten, they'll lose that one. But, you know, um, they say you said Super Bowl contenders. I don't see them getting to the Super Bowl. Are they conference championship contenders is what I answered. Yeah, they're dark horses, but they're pretty damn dark. Like Charlie Murphy would bet on that. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the thing too, this is the thing, though, with Steelers. Because of their defense, anything, anything is, is, is possible. Anything is possible. I, right. I, I, I don't exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. And I, 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 and the thing is too. Also, I don't see any of these three teams that we that we both see as ahead of them still, even despite the the win, the 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 win against Baltimore on Sunday. I don't see any three teams as runaways against. Them. I don't. I don't see KC leaps and bounds running Pittsburgh. I don't see both Buffalo leaps and bounds running Pittsburgh. You know, I, I think mean, on Sunday. No- there is no flawless uh, uh, team in the NFL, right? Like we've seen with the Kansas City Chiefs in the past, as an example, or the Ravens in the past. Like last year's Ravens, they were a pretty flawless team. I feel like, and we've had this conversation about coaching mistakes and a few things in the officiating that people are conveniently forgetting about. But the punchline being this, man, um, we might be looking at a world where the most flawless, air quotes, roster might be the Bills, but they have enough injuries to kind of take away from that. And just the wild card that is both the Steelers defense and Patrick LeVon Mahomes the second for the Chiefs is it, it can't be denied. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> look, and, and, and look, we, we, I know we're talking about the, the AFC's whole, the top teams, the AFC as a whole. Like, look, kudos to the Bills for what they did this weekend. Great win against against Kansas City. Cool story. I'm not, not going to try to knock you guys, Bills Mafia, but we've seen it before. Bills right? Mafia agrees with you. I, I mean, what's the problem here? Do, they, do, they do, do it in January. Yeah. Do it in January. They, they're, dude, if you're paying attention to those circles, they're saying the same damn thing. The thing that they should be most happiest about is assuring a tie break in the event of a home field uh, stand. Putting that game back in the former Ralph Wilson Stadium over Arrowhead, huge, huge, Anders Christian, very big deal. Very big, the biggest deal for Bill biggest fans. Deal. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Th- the point you made though about Baltimore being the biggest swing of all yes. is so apropos. It's so so right dead on because Baltimore ceiling wise is better than all three of these teams, but Baltimore's floor because their past teams being so dreadful is also the worst of the four of the four because of that. And and and, and I gotta also gotta I gotta speak on this now too. Also, I, I, I hate saying this. I love the guy. But we might have a John Harbaugh problem now. <laughs> we might, and I hate saying this because I think you he's know, one of the top guys remember, in the league. But you, okay, the reason here's the reason you don't, Ernest Christian. Okay, let's pretend that they they pull a Marty Schottenheimer on John Harbaugh because you said John, right? I said John. Yes. Okay, just checking because there's more Raven, than one now. Ravens coach. <laughs> yeah, <Georgia's coach. laughs> there you go. Not khaki, he's the other guy. <laughs> Let's say they do something that's stupid, objectively stupid. John Harbaugh has a good job the next season. Oh, but I'll question. Falls. Then, oh. if that's the case, in the words of Brad Pitt and Moneyball, and because it's your podcast, I have to use language like this. Go ahead. Then what the fuck are we doing? I am not suggesting it's fired. <laughs> I'm not. I am not suggesting that he gets but quiet. But there may, may be some tweaks that I'll take with as as play calling and whatnot. I'm not suggesting the guy, he's a top five or six coach in the league. You're and, sure he's doing play calling now? But there, I'm assuming, well, I mean, everything falls on him at the end as of the day. As a special teams guy, right? True, I don't necessarily true. that he is. Right, but the thing the Matter thing of is, fact, uh, the, the, the Ravens OC is on the short list for people that are allegedly meant to potentially replace Doug Peterson. We're on that later. Oh, ooh, we'll get on that in a second. But no, but I, I think some of, the, some, some of the things, are, you know, and look, I, 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 Harbaugh's might not call him the plays either. I don't know how their system works. It's going to fall on him, of course. Am I suggesting he's fired? No. Not. I, I don't think right. it's on a hot seat. I don't think it's a seat to warm at all. But I just think that some decisions then what made, the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I, I think he has cost them some big games the last year. I don't know about his that. Coaching. I don't think that's fair. What, what, give me one. Well, the ace game last year, of course. The biggest one. Okay, so you're so you're talking about specific to one game where people got the lemon booty. And, and listen, credit all day and night to Nick Wright for all his homerism and uh, you, you know uh, hyperbolic clickbait takes. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he is absolutely right that people 
at offenses that coaches see urgency facing Patrick LeVon Mahomes the second on the other sideline and feel like they have to score quickly because it's only a matter of time before he gets hotter than, you know, Scarlett Johansson in the movie Match Point, okay? But yeah. I said what I said, Ernest Christian. Don't I know you, you did. Me. I know you did. You did. You did. But uh, <laughs> with all that in mind, um, the I, I don't – again, is that truly a Harbaugh failing? You would only know within the franchise itself. But, right. okay, sure. So <clears> – <throat> Let me get this straight. Let's say they get back to the AFC Championship game. Do they actually hold the crime of the previous AFC Championship game against him? That's like firing that's like firing Kyle Shanahan, in my opinion, because Chase Young didn't make the play he should have in the late fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, and the Niners aren't San Francisco. I mean, what are we doing here? Yeah. I mean, like I said, um, there's some things I've, I've – again, it falls on him because he's, he's the head guy in charge. But, <laughs> right. <clears throat> again – Derrick Henry, 13 carries this, this week. Granted, one's 31, 31 yarder. Just got to feed that beast, though. Make what you can. I, I, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> got to feed that beast, though. And I think that's one of the things they – sometimes in some of these games, they go away from what made them successful and check it too cute, you know, sometimes. And I think that gets them in, you know, gets them in trouble. That being said, I ain't ready to go out of, out of Baltimore by a long shot. Baltimore is still one of the best teams in the, in the conference, and, and they can be either of these teams, these top teams in the conference at any given Sunday – in January as well, too. I still have faith Lamar Jackson get the job done. 